Welcome to the In Her Garden. I'm Shaquana. Thank you for coming across this channel. Make sure that you like, you subscribe, and you turn on your notification bell for the latest content that we'll be posting here this week. I want to first thank you all for uh, coming across this channel and tuning in to any of the videos that has been displayed thus far. Now, today's word of encouragement is sure to encourage you. But first, I want to tell you about the bookshelf listen it's going to get done i promise it's going to get done this week i have the time to get it done so i'm going to call somebody to come and put these nails and these corner braces into this bookshelf if you all have been following the page for any length of the time that i've been on here then you know that my bookshelf is broken at the bottom and i have to repair it um not me well i think i'm gonna have to do it like but I'm not going to do it. I promise you I'm not going to do it. I'm going to have somebody else to do it. Because I don't do that type of work. Um, I did put the bookshelf again. I put my bookshelf together that's to the right of me. I do that. But when it comes to like drills and all of that. Mm, no, I didn't. I don't do that. But I'm excited to get that done. So that's just a little bit of... Uh, update about me in the bookshelf behind me now remember the bookshelf is to give you a reminder right um, on the Instagram page that I have the account it's called remind hers and it's to help women to stay in faith stay focused and fearless so if that sounds like you and you need some encouragement in terms of daily remind hers for you to stay in faith, stay focused, and to stay fearless, then go over to you, uh, Instagram, not YouTube. Go over to Instagram and check out the stories. They are displayed every day, Monday through Friday. One remind her per day. And this is the winter remind her. So you can go over there, check it out. And if you miss any of them, then go to the highlight that says remind hers 2.0 fall and winter. And you can just thumb through, tap, 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 tap through all of the fall and winter remind hers. And some of them are from last year. So you have a plethora of remind hers to encourage you. And if you want to go ahead and be proactive, you can go ahead and go into the spring and summer ones as well. Remind hers 2.0 where they are on Instagram as well. But I want you to be reminded and maybe I'll just go ahead and just pun intended. Remind her right here. Remind her for you to remember the promises of God. This um, bookshelf is color coordinated for you to see that the promises of God are yes in him and amen. Amen. And he's going to fulfill his promises to you because he who promised is faithful. Full. Come on, Holy Spirit. And so just be reminded every time you come on this channel that you, when you see this bookshelf, you see that the God that you serve, he is going to fulfill his promise to you. So let's get into today's word. Um, and it came to me on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, back to back to back to back to back. And I just kept hearing it's a new horizon. It's a new horizon. It's a new horizon. And even today, just meditating on the word of the thought that he gave me, it's a new horizon. He said, broaden your horizon, broaden your horizons. And so this is for you all as well. And when I was thinking about what he was saying, pondering it, meditating on it, or just reflecting for him to just give me more, right? Right. What do you mean? You know, it's a new horizon. I get it for me. I understand it for me. But for you all, what do you want me to tell them? And he said to broaden your horizon and he began to release the word. And if you know me, then, you know, I'm going to the word. And it says here that um, in Isaiah 54 Verse two, enlarge your tent and strengthen your states. Come on, enlarge your tent and strengthen your states. Enlarge your tents and strengthen your states. Okay, and so he took me to divine, define, not divine. He took me to define the word horizon. And this is what it means. Y'all are going to love this. And it says here that the definition of horizon is... The place in the distance where the earth and sky seem to meet. The other definition is the line where the earth seems to meet the sky. And I heard the Lord begin to say that it is where heaven is going to meet earth. Thy kingdom come, my God, and thy will be done. Come on, in earth as it is 
in heaven, in earth as it is in heaven. Some of you say on earth. Come on. Some of you say on earth and um, and when it's in earth, come on, in earth as it is in heaven, in earth and in earth is you. Come on, it's going to be done in you. He said that he's going to have a new horizon that's going to come in effect in you through you the new horizon is you i hear the lord saying to isaiah 60 arise and shine for thy light has come come on it's time for you to see differently now it's time for you to look out upon the horizon broaden your horizon enlarge your tents and strengthen your stake enlarge your tents means to stretch out it means to make room right it means to begin to move some things out of the way y'all spring is coming I hear this. So I'm going to say this. Spring is coming and a lot of people begin to uh, start cleaning out their closets and cleaning out their uh, pantries and cleaning out their garages and dusting and sweeping and mopping and shining and all that type of stuff within their homes. But what about your spiritual home? What about your inner garden? Come on, you got to do some uprooting. You got to do some overturning. You got to do some plucking out, some overthrowing. These are that which was mentioned in Jeremiah. However, you got to begin to do this in your garden. You got to begin to till the ground, break up the fellow ground, Lord God, of the hearts of your people so that they may be able to be tended to by you. You got to make sure that you're tending to the soil of your soul in this season so that you can have room for what's to come. He's wanting you to broaden your horizons, strengthen your stakes. And this is what he had me to write down when it was time for me to get some revelation from strengthening your stakes or it means to stretch out. And let me make sure that I'm saying everything that the Lord has me to say. Okay. There's no other definition. Okay. So again, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth, in you as it is in heaven. He's broadening your horizon. He's once, he wants you to broaden your horizon. And a lot of times when people hear that cliche, it means to, Mm, travel if you will but not necessarily physically he wants you to do this mentally he wants you to do this uh, spiritually okay that which is seen is temporal but that which is unseen is eternal so this is an eternal outlook that you have my god this is an eternal outlook that you have so it I wrote here that when you begin to strengthen your stakes, when you begin to stretch out, you are not just broadening your horizons to go somewhere physically, if you will. But this is for you to make room. This is for you to acquire knowledge in your mind, in your mind. And sometimes that means reading the books, listening to the podcast, going on and watching the videos. That means you enrolling in those courses, in those classes, you registering for the workshops, for the seminars. Uh, it means for you to practice the skills, talents, and gifts that God has given you. Put it to practice. Don't just let it waste and go to ways don't just let it sit there go ahead and finish the work that he has began in you my god he who has promised is faithful and he that began that good work in you he is faithful to complete it until the day of jesus christ he is going to complete the work in you so just begin to practice the skills practice the knowledge practice the uh the apply the knowledge and the and begin to practice the talents the gifts that god has given you so you want to begin to learn about the industry related topics that he has given you to begin to research some of you have put down the goals i, I remember doing this as well and god said pick it back up up, revise those goals because I'm not done with that you understand so you need to get your goals back go get your goals back that you wrote down last year he's revising them he's pivoting them right but he's still going to do them that deadline or the the accomplishment the outcome he's going to do it for you he said um to begin to uh practice um, and learn about your divine purpose, the divine purpose that you have, the divine calling and the assignment. Acquire the knowledge first. That's how you strengthen your stakes. Um, I forget who said it first or originally, but I heard this woman of God say, and um, she mentioned that your feet cannot go 
where your mind has not been. Your feet will never go where your mind has not been. This has to be conceived in your spirit first, conceived in the mind first, okay? So you gotta begin to learn about your divine purpose. If you have no clue what that is, you need to begin to seek him where he, where, why he may be found. Seek him for your divine purpose or the purpose that he has for you, right? The plans and thoughts that he thinks towards you. You need to begin to do that if you are unclear about that and you need clarity, okay? He he says to begin to acquire the knowledge about the divine purpose, calling and assignment that he has for your life so that you won't be unaware about these things. And you want to begin to strengthen your stakes in the in the realm of your connections, right? Your connections align with and connect with people that are righteous. Come on, not self-righteous, but righteous. You want to align with those people. You want to align with the people that God has for you in your purpose, your destiny, your assignment, and your calling. Don't align with self-righteous people. Align with the righteous people. Come on, the righteous people and those circles. Um, he wants you to revisit your goals again because according to Proverbs, he says that when you commit your works and your plans to the Lord, he will cause them to succeed. And that sometimes, for us we think oh he gonna do everything that we're saying how we're going to go about it not necessarily so that's why you got to commit it to him you got to submit it to him you got to commit it to him and say god this is your work god this is your these are your plans and whatever you want to change whatever you want to do in these plans you get to, right? You get to because you are the CEO of my life. Come on, you are the promoter of my life. And so that's what you have to do when you are writing out plans and goals. You have to commit them unto him, okay? Give them back to him so that he can oversee them, right? And give you direction, give you clarity, give you insight, give you knowledge about it and understanding. He says to embrace the pivots when they come. When you are experiencing pivots, that's not a time for you to begin to... Re well, withdraw or to step back. That's a time for you to lean forward and lean into the pivots so that you can learn more about you and where he's taking you and the mindset that he's giving you in terms of him stretching your mind. He's renewing your mind. Come on, he's pouring new wine, not into old wine skin, but this is a new wine skin. And so he's saying, broaden your horizon, strengthen your states. Come on, enlarge your tents. And lastly, he wants you to do something new. He wants you to do something new. Do something that you've never done before. Do something that you've never done before. This doesn't mean physically all of the time, but you can begin to take these points of which I've just released uh, by way of the Holy Spirit and begin to see what area in your life that you can begin to do something new. Come on, maybe it's in your health, you can do something new. Maybe it's in your social relationships that you can do something new. Maybe it's in your mindset that you can do something new. Maybe it's in your finances that you can do something something new. Maybe it's in your education that you can do something new. Maybe it's in your spiritual walk that you can do something new. Maybe it's in your communication skills that you can do something new. Maybe it is in your family that you can do something new. Come on, I'm gonna hit every area that there is. Maybe it's in your leisure that you can do something new. Maybe it's in your creativity that you can do something new. Maybe it's in your career that you can begin to do something new. Maybe it's in your intellect that you can do something new. He wants to do something new. He wants you to do something new and he wants to do something new in you. And so he's going to do this. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth, in you, as it is in heaven. The horizon. The horizon has come. He said, listen, it's a new horizon. Can you see it? Can you see this new horizon? It is here. And I hear that song too. Fear is not your future. Come on. How, you got to say hello to peace. Hello to hope. Hello to strength. Hello to love. Hello to safety. Hello to healthiness. Come on. You got to say hello to holistic healing. You got to say hello to deliverance. Hello to freedom. Hello to prosperity. Hello to abundance. I love that song. And he says, the singer says it he says he says it's it's been a long time for some of us it's been a long time for some of you you haven't seen it in a long time but you better begin to put what you want to see in that song and let that song minister to you in that way and begin to say hello to it you got to see peace as a person come on because peace is a person peace is him come on peace is jesus christ he is the prince of peace and so you got to begin to see this as a person see these words as a actual person in your life you got to say hello love you 
You got to say hello, peace, hello, healing, hello, wholeness. Come on, you got to see this. Hello, abundance, hello, prosperity, hello, righteousness, hello, purity. You got to begin to see this. You got to say hello to advancement, hello to acceleration, hello, hello, hello. You got to begin to welcome this in your life. It's a new horizon in broadening your horizon. Now it's the time. Spring is coming. And listen. You want to be ready for the spring. You want to go ahead and start cleaning right now. Go ahead. Do something new. Maybe it's you. I hear this. So I'm saying this. Maybe it's you going ahead ahead of time, ahead of the spring, quote unquote, time that is going to be here in March and go ahead and transition out your closet from winter clothes and fall clothes to spring and summer clothes. Come on. Prep yourself before time. Do some things that can be um, beneficial for you before the season even comes. I hope that you got something out of it. I hope that you do the work. Come on, the emotional work that needs to be done. It's a new horizon. You don't have to wallow in that hurt anymore. You don't have to wallow in depression and sadness anymore. I just pray God will break the spirit of anxiety and depression off of your life. I pray that he will begin to heal you in the heart, in the hard places that you seem, that seems unbearable, that you can't move through. I pray that God lifts the spirit of heaviness and depression off of you. And I pray that he give you garments. He give you celebration of praise. Hallelujah. I pray in the name of Jesus that God will begin to do these things in your life, that he will make it all well for you, that he will make it all well for you in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that he will open up your eyes to see the new horizon that is before you. It is a new horizon. You don't have to stay in the past any longer. It's a brand new day. It's a brand new day for you in Jesus name. I hope that this helps you. I hope that you got something out of it and I hope that you do the work because you are worth the soul work.